Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. This week's screen deals with the filtered Zach's Rank 2. Yes, 2. Kevin Matris, head of the Research Wizard Division of Zax.com, is going to explain all of that yeah. for us, aren't you? That's right. Put it all in language that we can understand. You're right. going to be reviewing a strategy that you created that actually comes loaded with the Research Wizard program. Right. You know, I, I think the last time I talked about this strategy when we were here was all the way back in October of 2007, right before the bear market hit. Um, so if you were to look at it back then, prior to that time, uh, going all the way back from the year 2000 to 2007, this strategy has been able to show an average annual return of about 72.7% on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. Now, as you might have expected, 2008 was a pretty rough year, um, but you know, that's just part of trading. But I think that when you're focusing on a proven profitable trading strategy, that can give somebody the confidence to be able to stick with a winning strategy, uh, knowing that the odds are in your favor. What I think that's interesting though is people should realize that even if you are working with a proven profitable strategy, it's not a box of magic and it's not going to preclude you from ever having another losing trade. But again, focusing in on the, uh, the you know, proven profitable stock picking rules can help you beat the market over and over again. So how's this doing so far this year? The reason why we're talking about it is because it's doing awesome. Uh, it is, it's, it's, it's being able to show the same kinds of returns that we had seen in the past. So if you were to take a look at this chart, in 2009, month to, uh, a year to date, so if you were to look at the beginning of the year through I think the first week of June, the filtered Zach's Rank 2 strategy is currently up 55.1% in comparison to the S&P's 2.1%. Mm -hmm. uh, the strategy is a very easy strategy to trade. It gives you five stocks to hold in your portfolio at a time. Uh, but again, you are gonna have to rebalance this portfolio weekly. Now, if you are an active trader, you're absolutely gonna love this strategy because it's giving you new stocks to look at on a weekly basis. But even if you're not an active trader, it's still exciting to see the kinds of stocks that are coming through, and it's up to you how long you want to hang on to these stocks. Uh, but getting some high probability picks is always exciting to look at. So what's the recipe? All right, here's how the strategy works. There's only three items that goes into this screen. It starts off by looking at companies with a Zacks rank of a one. As everybody knows, the Zacks rank is one of the best ranking systems out there. And if you were to look at its performance going all the way back to 1988, uh, the average annual return for the Zacks number ones is over 26%. So the screen starts off by looking at companies with a Zacks rank of a one. Okay. Then we're looking at the percent change in current quarter estimate over the last four weeks to be greater than zero. This is important because while it's true the Zacks rank already focuses in on earnings estimate revisions for the current year and the next year, this one is focusing on the more immediate future, which is the current quarter. So what we're doing is we're saying, show me companies that have seen at least uh, uh, no negative uh, earnings estimate revisions, but preferably upward earnings estimate revisions. Anything that has had a negative revision is being excluded from the screen. Okay. So you have your long-term uh, forecast being improved and your short-term forecast being improved. Very important. Mm -hmm. Then we're looking at the percent change in the average broker rating over the last week we're looking at the top five stocks. So in short, we're trying to find the companies with the biggest increase or the best increase in the average broker rating. Now, doing these things, everybody knows that I'm not really keen on the average broker rating per se, what it is in absolute uh, terms. But I do like to look at the change because since, you know, the average broker rating is kind of skewed to the upside, it's important to know is the brokerage community getting more bullish or are they getting more bearish? If the most bullish group out there is getting bearish, that is never a good sign. So we want to make sure that brokers indeed are increasing their outlook on the stock and we are trying to find the five best stocks. All right. Well, you've got some that have come through the screen this week. Mm -hmm. There is five stocks, like I said, every single time you run the screen, you're always going to get five stocks. Here's three of them. You've got uh, Phillips, Van Heusen, 
you've got BioVail and then a company called uh, Kongzang Corp. It's a Chinese company. Yeah, I uh, gathered that. Yeah. It's interesting, though, because these are three very different stocks. Mm -hmm. You've got apparel, you've got drugs, and you've got an Internet company. But the, the thing that they all have in common is that they're all coming from a very, very winning screen, and these are definitely companies that you want to be paying attention to. You own them? Uh, no. <laughs> Always got to check Always the board. Check Always got to check the board. But if you want to see the other two that came through this week's screen, then get over to Zax.com's homepage and scroll down that homepage until you get to Kevin's picture and the headline next to it. And when you click on it, it'll take you right to it. And don't forget that Kevin also uses the Research Wizard backtesting tool to achieve all of the screens that he talks about here, and you can use it in your investing as well. To find out more about that, zax.com forward slash research wizard is where you should be checking. With Kevin Matris and the Screen of the Week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.